Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is, hopefully, a fairly short video about the Ubiquiti Security Gateway, or USG Pro 4, and specifically about the disproportionately loud fan noise from this router. Yes, this product is aimed at the enterprise market, where noise isn't an issue. And to be honest, my rack is out of the way, so it isn't audible in any of the living areas of the house. But everything else in the cabinet is whisper quiet, so when I've been working on the rack, the noise from the USG was really annoying. I looked on YouTube and found a video on replacing the fans, but there was nothing comparing before and after, so I decided to make my own. As well as the USG, my rack consists of a 16 port PoE switch, modem, QNAP NAS and a UPS. Taking a very rough baseline measurement, the overall rack noise is around 50 decibels. I opted for Noctua fans to replace the stock ones as they have a good name for low noise levels. One thing to watch out for though is to make sure you get the 12 volt version. It looks like a well made little fan but although it doesn't make any difference in this case, it has to be said the Noctua brown and beige colour scheme is pretty ugly. I think I picked them up on Amazon for about £12 each and they come with rubber mounts as well as all the correct screws and some connection options including an extension cable and a really nice touch is the inclusion of low noise adapters to vary the fan speed which I'll get to later. So opening up the USG is really straightforward. When you do though remember you will probably void any warranty. My USG is a couple of years old now so I'm quite happy to proceed. Just remove the three screws on the back with a small Phillips screwdriver. Slide the cover back and the fans are exposed and you can see how much dust they've gathered. The connectors just slide up and off but I'd recommend holding onto the board as they were surprisingly tight. Then all it takes is a number two Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws and the old fans can be removed. As I said, the new fans come with rubber mounts and theoretically you could use them, but the outer case will not sit correctly if you go for that option. You will need to use the screws that come with the new fans, but they fit perfectly under the cover. Then just push on the new connectors and route your cables under the board to give the least amount of airflow obstruction and refit the outer cover. I took measurements of the sound levels at 10 centimeters from the back of the USG, both before and after. You can see here that the old fans are reading about 77 decibels. Whereas the Noctua fans are hovering around 60 to 61 decibels, which is quite a dramatic decrease. I played around with the low noise adapters and I opted for the ultra low noise connector which drops the fan speed to 3700 rpm. One thing I was slightly concerned about was the temperature levels on the USG. There was a discussion about this on the UBNT forums and according to a Ubiquiti employee the maximum CPU temperature is 105 degrees and PHY is 110 with anything below that being fine. Here are the temperatures from the USG with the stock fans, 63 and 67 degrees respectively for CPU and PHY. And after fitting the Noctuas, there was actually a slight drop to 61 and 66 degrees respectively. I actually filmed this while the weather was still a bit cooler, but I've been keeping an eye on temperatures during the recent warm spell, and they've been hovering around the 76 and 80 degree mark so well below the recommended maximum. Now, going back to the cabinet noise from the original fans, if you remember I was getting around 50 decibels. That now measures around 44 decibels and the cabinet is noticeably quieter since fitting the Noctuas. As I said at the start, for the majority of USG owners, the noise isn't going to be an issue. 
but if your rack is already reasonably quiet, then this fan upgrade is definitely worthwhile. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.